trusted colleague on the right. Okay. He has a growth. Going for the growth. Hey, didn't we see him earlier? He looks like him or his brother. <laughs> Got that same birthmark. So we did observe this specific species of Antimora with a parasitic copepod on it uh, during a previous dive. And Dr. Amanda Demopoulos was really excited, <laughs> saying that observations of, of deep sea uh, fishes with parasites are rare, although they do occur. It's difficult to capture them on video. Helping you out, Josh. Okay, we got enough of him. All right, you can come wide. We think we've seen this fish species with a copepod before, haven't we? Yeah, we have the same yeah. species with a copepod. It's interesting because last time we saw this, the uh, copepod was likewise right smack in the forehead there. Does the morphology of the copepod look similar to what you've seen before? For me, I normally see what looks to be like TV antennas when it comes to copepod uh, parasites on uh, the back's dorsal surface of the head of fish. Just find it to be interesting morphology. This is very interesting. I mean, the, um, the last TV series that we were on, we found one that was fully engorged. It looked like um, it was about the size of a golf ball and that uh, was attached to a fish and was almost unrecognizable. So some of them um, definitely come in different shapes and sizes, for sure. Go ahead, Bridge. Thank you, Bridge. Other eels, red crab, and several burrows. 